Hello, YouTube family. It's been a while since I have made a video. I lost my account and I couldn't make a video or even look at you guys' updates and stuff. So, anyways, I just um, got another one and I'm back up and running. I did subscribe to most of you guys' pages. Um, but here is my new video and I have a few things growing in my garden. So, let's get started. Alrighty. That is my beautiful, beautiful lettuce, my mescaline. I hope I'm saying that right. Then over here I have some radishes. And then I believe this is um, cucumbers or I believe they're cucumbers. Let's see. Let me check it. Squash. I'm sorry. So my squash is growing, looking nice. See some yellowing in the leaves um, on the bottom, the, you know, the first leaves. I think that's normal and they're probably falling off. And uh, But that's looking good. I do have um, some, I believe it's not beets. I have to check. Mm, I forgot what that was, but whatever it is, it's not doing well anyway. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I have some tomatoes that's trying to come up. They, you know, tomatoes always don't look too well, look good when it's first starting, but then it kind of picks up. I have some more lettuce, and I believe this is my romaine. Um, I had some onions in this bed, but I'm having trouble this year with rabbits and stuff, so not doing well. And I do have some carrots that looks to be doing okay. All right. And I'm going to go over here. I, this year I did something new. I did a bed with peas and a couple um, lettuces. Um, so I have all kinds of different peas. I have a new new. I have scarlet um, peas. I heard they are beautiful and they uh, get beautiful um, flowers and stuff on them. So I'm excited. Really excited about that. So, I, I mean, I have like pinto, I have navy, I have Alaskan peas. It's all types of peas. And then I also have corn that's growing over here. And you can see this is not the best soil, but it is growing and it's doing um, wonder, wonders in here. I think it's doing, you know, pretty good. Okay. Alrighty. Let's come over here. And I do have a new addition to the family we've had for probably like a month or two now. It's my chickens, and I got them so I could do um, compost, and of course with their with their um, poop, and also to get eggs from them. So say hello to my new addition to my chicken. My husband made a makeshift chicken coop. He really is not a builder, but he, I think he did an okay job with it. And we didn't buy anything, just materials and stuff that we had. But they seem pretty happy. Um, I did talk with the. A gardener guy, I mean, I'm sorry, with a farmer that has chickens, and he gave me some insight on that, how to take care of them. I have some more tomatoes in here, and these are sweet banana peppers. <coughs> Excuse me. I have collards growing in here. These are all um, peppers also, but these are jalapenos. Hope you can see that. I have broccoli growing. I don't know if that broccoli is going to do well because it's, it's warmed up here pretty. Um, it's gotten pretty warm, so I'm not sure. This is the, if you guys remember from last year, that's that um, strawberry plant that I had gotten for the first year and I didn't get any fruit. I actually have eaten one of these. And oh my God, it is so good. It's so sweet. And I'm going to try to keep the camera on. Can y'all see all those strawberries down there? And they are so sweet. And good. They're not, you know, really big, but I enjoy just eating those. I have kale in here. These are some more peppers. And these are my bell peppers. Um, I have some basil coming up in this bed. This is sage that I didn't know what to do with, didn't know what it was, and it's going to seed, it looks like. Um, um, over there is some artichoke. And I'm not sure what that is. It's a little flower. I think it's a plant. Like a flower. Um, and then I have another little flower here. Then I have some interesting things I think that's growing over here. 
I have um, cantaloupe that's coming up. And this that is coming up out of the sea is pink pumpkin. Never, ever, ever. I joined a sea traders group on Facebook. If you don't belong to one, please, these people have been a blessing to my life. And I really feel like, you know, I've made friends um, within this group. Um, and that's cantaloupe. I'm sorry, that's watermelon. Cleckley's watermelon that's coming up. Those are cantaloupes that's coming up. Corn. And let's see what this is. And that's crooked neck, crooked neck squash. Um, let's see. And that's mini white pumpkin that just came up. Mini white. And I'm going to um, give... Uh, one of these mini white pumpkins to a friend. And some other stuff have grown up in there. I'm going to just pull that out. Because um, I did have some other stuff in there. That's mustard greens. But it wasn't coming up now because I put the pumpkin. It seems like it wanted to come up. So, go figure. Um, this crooked neck squash again. It looks wonderful. And the, these things I'm going to put in the ground soon. It's a pink pumpkin coming up. Some more basil. Uh, another mini white. And these are canterbury flowers, and that's an African daisy. So I'm pretty excited about my little garden and things that's coming up. And I'm really, you know, getting into flowers and um, vegetables. That's so pretty. Not pretty. My son's teacher gave me that. I met her last year through my son, and she remember she gave me the gourd seeds, and I didn't know what they were. I'm just so grateful and thankful that my knowledge for plants and stuff has gotten a lot better. Um, but um, she gave me, you know, we became friends, really, and we talk about gardening. And she gives me stuff, and see if you can grow this and that. And that plant, she wanted me to see that flower. She wanted to see if I could grow it. And it's blooming nicely. So thank you, you guys. This is my first update. Um, oh, let me tell you something very, very exciting. I am with a group um, with the state of Virginia. Um, and it's what's called the Edamame Bean Project. And what they're doing in my area, they took out, you know, all the tobacco farming. And they want us to start growing edamame beans in our area. Well, I'm, I'm, from my understanding, this gentleman has... Um, like cultivated this bean to grow in our area because it comes from another country. Um, so I am one of the participants of this Edamame project, and I am so honored and so happy. So hopefully this weekend I will be playing. I just got the Edamame beans in the mail, and um, hopefully I can show you guys a quick pic picture of those beans, and I will be planting them. So I'm, I'm just so excited that I'm able to do this project and provide um, fresh edamame beans to my local area. All right, you guys have a great time. Please keep making those videos. I learned so much from you guys, and I, you know, I'm, I'm just enjoyed, um, you know, living through you guys, looking at your plants and stuff like that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again, and keep those videos coming. Happy gardening, 2013. God bless. Bye.